We all know that when it comes to cars, safety is the most important thing. From the design of the outside to the inside, it all needs to be super safe. Sadly, sometimes cars aren't the safest, as something went wrong with the design side of the project. So stay tuned to today's video as we discuss how Hyundai is recalling 239,000 cars for exploding seatbelt parts. First up, what is going on with these seatbelts? So if you didn't hear already, Hyundai is actually recalling about 300,000 cars across the US and Singapore because of a failure with the design. Seatbelts are there to save you in case of a crash and to make you feel safe while it's driving. And failures just aren't allowed with a seatbelt. Sadly, these cars seem to have a problem within the seatbelt that causes an explosion. From what we can tell, three failures have occurred, two in the US and one in Singapore, which have issued a recall. In a letter to the Korean automaker, government regulators said that the drivers and front passenger seatbelt pretensioners can explode upon deployment and send shrapnel throughout the vehicle. Pretensioners tighten the belts in preparation for a crash and replaces three previous recalls, includes 2019 through 2022 Accents, 2021 through 2023 Elantras, and 2021 through 2022 Elantra ATVs, or hybrid electric vehicles. Vehicles repaired under the previous recalls will need to be brought to dealerships again for the new remedy. Owners are now able to take their vehicles to the dealership to be taken away, and they will indeed get their full money back and everything returned at no extra cost. We don't know if drivers will be getting any compensation or even a temp car for a while, and not deal with the possible explosion that might occur. This is scary. Did you know about this? If you really need to get in touch with Hyundai, you can call their numbers. For more information, owners may contact Hyundai Customer Service at 1-855-371-9460 and reference recall number 229. They can also call the NHTSA Vehicle Safety Hotline at 1-888-327-4236 or go to www.nhtsa.gov. What do you think about all of this? Let us know down below in the comments section below. Now it looks like the Lamborghini Urus SUV will be electric. Lamborghini is one of the biggest car brands in the entire world and they are finally joining the electric car trend. They have created electric vehicles in the past, but this new one is something special. It's a new four-seater car that is a crossover. It's set to launch all the way in 2028, but it's going to be an incredible vehicle when the public do get their hands on it. The CEO, Stefan Winkelmann, had some choice words to say about this new project and what it means for the brand. The last two GT Lamborghini cars that were produced are the Uraraco and the current Urus. It's time for a new car to take over the market that Lamborghini tend to go for. Development on this new car is starting sometime this year, and they hope to show off the car in a few years from now. 2028 is obviously still a ways off, so it's going to take some time for this car to release. But from what we know already, it's looking super promising. He went on to talk more about the car, but was very tight-lipped about its features and what the car's technical makeup will consist of. So stay tuned to their socials and websites for more information as they release it on their own schedule. This car should change the market when it releases. We already have so many higher-end electric cars, but this one might just be the best when it's launched in 2028. What do you think about this one? Let us know down in the comment section below. It's going to be awesome when it does finally release. But it's going to take a whole lot of time before we see it. Another car is also set to release just after this new one. The second generation of this car is also already planned and should release the year after in 2029, as planned if nothing goes wrong in production and concept. Their new hybrid car is also an option, as it allows people who still want gas cars or don't live in an area full of chargers to still benefit from the new tech and help the environment at the same time. It really seems that Lamborghini are super committed to providing a hybrid and electric car in the near future that fits what everyone wants in these higher-end vehicles. Think of a current four-seater Lamborghini, but much better for the environment and full of all the current tech inside new cars like Teslas or even some stuff we haven't even seen yet. It's an exciting time to be a supercar fan and a fan of newer technology in general. We have so much on the horizon and it all looks super promising. What do you think about the new technology coming out soon? Let us know down in the comments below. Finally, how are electric cars hoping to gain net zero? As we move into the future of vehicles, more and more people are asking about how clean these new electric cars really are for the environment. It's known that current petrol and diesel cars and vehicles aren't good for the environment at all. In fact, it's been said that in the next 10 or so years, diesel cars will be almost extinct from many roads across the world, and everyone will be close to having electric cars. The huge benefit right now to electric cars is the contribution they make to small towns and cities. They improve the air quality in these areas as less gas is being pumped out in the air and destroying its overall quality. Pure electric cars, of course, produce no emissions whilst driving on the roads, meaning that they don't contribute to the air pollution unlike normal gas vehicles. Despite the product itself not affecting the environment as it uses no gas, the production of said vehicles is what uses so much energy. However, when looking deeper into how these cars are produced compared to other gas cars, the battery is the only thing that affects the environment, and it's a much greener process than an actual gas car. This is because the emissions are created over the car's lifetime, not at the point of production. Though the worst part about production is the creation of the electric car as it affects the environment. The process is slowly becoming better and better for the environment as technology is advancing for the greater good. It looks like more than a third of the overall CO2 emissions from electric cars comes from the actual process of creating the car itself, 
and not from driving it around, unlike other gas-powered vehicles. Another great thing about electric cars is their ability to reuse and recycle old batteries from previous cars. This is something that many companies are of course looking deeper into and trying to make work even better than it does right now. Their goal is that one day we can have a battery in our home that can store our energy for our own needs. A universal battery for almost everything and anything you'll need. What a cool thing to look forward to! Despite electric cars of course being better for the environment, many have questions about fueling the cars and how that affects the environment at all. From what research has been done by the European Energy Agency, carbon emissions from an electric car are at around 17 to 30 percent lower than a normal diesel or petrol vehicle. This means that this new generation of car and vehicle is going to improve when low carbon electricity is used to power them. Customers are going to have a better time about it as well, as we are currently seeing it in the UK. Of course, electric cars are becoming all the rage, but hybrid cars are still on the roads from a few years ago. These cars use gas when out in open roads and going a certain speed, whilst they use electricity in small towns and going slow. The car charges itself while it's driving on gas for the electric mode. These cars and vehicles are really cool and are all over the place, just like the electric cars are nowadays. You might think that these cars are super environmentally friendly, just like electric cars, and you would be correct, though it does depend on what you're using the car for. Longer journeys will still affect the environment just as normal car will, but it also powers the lesser journeys, so it softens the blow a little bit in the long run. It's renewable energy at the end of the day. Let us know what you think about all this down in the comments below. Electric cars are changing the world for the better and are tackling climate change at the same time, and that's the end of today's video. The world is gaining more and more technology with the aims of saving itself, from new electric cars trying to solve the climate change issue and easier to access. The future is looking bright in the world with all this technology, and it's going to all come to us sooner than we think. The future is already here in some cases, and it's just getting started. Thank you for watching today's video. See you next time. Bye!